Harris, you were just mentioning in the previous segment that there is this time compression aspect that that creates so many challenges. And, and what are you seeing? You're going to mention what you're seeing specifically in, in your area of financial. Yeah, I mean, we, we've seen the agency portion of the business uh, where, you know, desks trade stocks on behalf of institutional clients. We've seen that business transformed by technology, which is, you know, disintermediated. Technology goes to friction, friction goes to price. So we've seen that business transformed by technology as many institutions go direct. These in the old days going for the broker. And that's obviously transformed what used to be a, you know, pretty major business line into not a major business line, but still a critical source of information and intelligence on the market. You know, you look at, say, finance or all of these industries, we're talking about bits, right? These are digital uh, objects. And, you know, all of these trends, AI, blockchain, distributed ledger, genome, um, they're all related. And there's enormous convergence and power in all of those technologies um, that's, you know, really transforming industries that are bit based. Finance, I mean, we are bit-based, so we've been at the, the cutting edge. So when we look at AI, uh, which obviously is mm -hmm. a, is a yeah. tool, um, for us, you know, AI is going to be a very, very powerful factor. We, you know, we've all been watching ChatGPT4 and OpenAI and, you know, um, generative AI and its, and, its, and its evolution. But what you're really talking about, frankly, is in an industry that's, you know, this been impacted by technology. Um, this is an op opportunity for cheaper, faster, better. Um, and when you get that in an industry that's, you know, any industry in bits that's had, you know, margin pressure, there's going to be an obvious mm -hmm. um, interest in exploring that. So we've been watching the chat GPT, Microsoft, Google. Um, I mean, Google's obviously got to respond to what is an existential threat by a Bing, Microsoft's Bing uh, search engine versus their traditional power in that. Um, and it's moving to AI quite clearly. Mm -hmm. mm. And so where does that leave you? When you say you're watching it, where does that leave you almost from an investment perspective? I'm kind of jumping in now because we're still talking about, you know, kind of big picture. But while I have you on the subject, what does that lead you to yeah. believe uh, in terms of opportunities? I think the first wave, Catherine, is uh, obviously AI is only as good as the data source. Um, you know, you train the AI on the data. Um, initially, I think there's going to be a heavy onus on data you can control. So scrapes from the net, outside sources, anything where you'd be ex uh, exposing client information um, outside the company firewall, it's, it's not going to, mm -hmm. it's not going to work initially, for sure. Um, and so you're, you're going to see captive data. Uh, if you look at what Adobe's doing with uh, Firefly, where they're basically capturing decades of, 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 of data that's proprietary to them and using it, I think that's the first wave you're going to see because of the concern over, you know, security and external sources uh, of data. But, you know, when you look at it, the data itself is a huge controversial issue because what's embedded in the data, where did the data come from? So. In, increasingly, people are asking, what's the provenance? What's the origin of the data? Is there bias uh, in the data? Um, mm. That's going to be a huge factor as we roll forward. And really, when you look at the, you know, the, the, the previous internet era, if you look at the entities that are emerging as leaders on the AI front, there are companies with the dollars and data um, to run what is an enormous compute um, to drive these engines. And, you know, initially you're seeing the, the winners from the last era um, as, yeah. or, you know, setting themselves up to be winners in this era. Microsoft is e easily the most aggressive and has been literally, I think, the most tactical. Um, and what they've done mm -hmm. by their investment in open AI and its impact on their business has been very, uh, very impactful out of the blocks. Yeah, it it certainly seems that Microsoft is is leading the charge right now. Google's been perhaps playing a bit of catch up, um, and there's probably also some other you know opportunities and likely in the semiconductor space as well. 
Absolutely, and, and and again, these are these things all converge. So, to do AI, you need good data. To to handle your data and parse it, you need good semiconductors. To run your semiconductors, you need mm -hmm. lots of energy. So, you know, you may right. say in that, where's the opportunity for Canada? Um, I think there are amazing opportunities for Canada.